Today you will identify the slope and y-intercept from graphs to write equations in slope-intercept form. So first I'm going to go over what slope-intercept form is. It's simply the way of writing an equation of a straight line so that the slope and the y-intercept are immediately apparent. This is the form right here, y equals mx plus b. You've seen this before, but you haven't seen this formula, I don't think. Um, M is going to represent the slope of the line. So this is your slope right here. And then B is your y-intercept. Okay, so for example, for this equation right here, this is going to be your slope, m, and this right here is your y-intercept, b. Okay, if you think about it, it's, the slope is your coefficient, it's the coefficient of x here, and then your b, or your y-intercept, is the same thing as your constant. y-intercept is the point where the line intersects the y-axis. So it's where this line crosses the y-axis and it's at this point right here for this graph. Okay, this is the point 0, 4, and your b is just the y-coordinate right here. So your b is equal to 4. When you're writing equations from a graph, the first thing you're going to do is find the y-intercept. So you're looking for the point where the line crosses or intersects the y-axis. So it's at this point right here. This is the point 0, 1. So the y-coordinate is 1. That means your b is equal to 1. Now you're going to use rise over run to get the slope m. So you're going to pick any other point on this graph, um, and then you're going to count the rise over the run to get your slope. So I'm going to pick this point. You can use any point you see. Right here I have a bunch that I could have used, so I'm just picking this one at random. So n is equal to the rise over the run. So I'm going to count from the left point to the right point. My rise is going to be up to and then my run is going to be across 2. So I have 2 over 2, which simplifies to 1. Your last step is to plug these values into this equation right here. So you're going to rewrite this equation, but instead of m, you're going to plug in the 1. And instead of this b, you're going to plug in this one. So y is equal to 1x plus 1. Now we normally don't write the 1 if the coefficient is a 1, so rewrite it as just x plus 1. And that's your answer. Example 1, you're going to be given a graph and you're going to write the equation. So first you need to identify your b and then your m. So my y-intercept is at this point right here at 0, negative 2. The y-coordinate is negative 2. So my b is negative 2. m is my slope. So I'm going to count rise over run to go from the left point to the right point. I can't go up to get to that point, so I'm going to rise down. One, two, three, four. So my rise is negative four, and my run is going to be one, two, three. Three across. So I have my slope, and I have my y-intercept. And I just need to plug it into the equation, y equals mx plus b. So y is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 
since my b is negative, I'm just going to write minus 2. Because this number is negative, I have to have this subtraction in front of it. Minus 2. And that's your equation for this graph. Example 2. So I need to find my b. My y-intercept is at this point right here, 0, 3. The y-coordinate is 3, so b is 3. And then my slope is n. I'm going to count the rise over the run to get to the next point. So my rise is 0, and my run is 2. Okay. Or if you simply just recognize that this is a horizontal line, the horizontal lines have a zero slope. Your slope is zero. I have both my values, so I can plug them into my formula, or my equation. Y equals mx plus b. Instead of m, I'm going to put in zero, and then positive three. Now since 0 times any number is just 0, you don't have to actually write this part. You would just write it as y equals 3. And that's your equation for this line right here. Example 3. The y-intercept is at the origin. It's at the point 0, 0, so my b is 0. And now I'm going to count my rise and my run. So to get to the next point, I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, so positive 3, and my run is 1. So this simplifies to 3. Now I can plug this in. Instead of m, I have 3, so 3x, three and then my b is 0 plus 0. Um, you don't normally have to write plus zero, so you would just rewrite it as y equals 3x. And that's your equation for that graph. These are the ones that we want you to try on your own. You're going to look at each graph. You're going to plot the points. I have these examples posted on my website, so if you want to print off a copy and just glue it into your example side of your spiral, you can just go there, print them off, and do the U-try on those graphs.